All right, so Dylan White made his return to the ring, and he made his return to the ring against Christian Hammer, stopped him in three rounds, actually the corner, corner retirement from Christian Hammer. He made his return to the ring in the, I think it's the TFL Royal Hotel Theater in Castle Bar on the west coast of Ireland, the County Mayo. Now, this fight, it was announced just over, I think it was just over a week ago, about 10 days, maybe a fortnight ago, that Dylan White would be returning to the ring against Christian Hammer. Okay. On this card of Mayo, okay, coming back after the failed, or sorry, the adverse analytical finding he had back in August. He was meant to be fighting Anthony Joshua, obviously it didn't happen. His last fight prior to today was against Jermaine Franklin back in November of 2022, and obviously that was in the OVO Arena, a much bigger arena than the Castle Bar Theatre is in County Mayo. This fight was not televised, it wasn't even streamed to YouTube. There is footage, now, the, I'll, I'll link it in the description. It is from Ringwalk Media. It is, it's ringside footage. It's only in the one angle, so just you gotta bear that in mind that it's not gonna be, there may come times when you're watching this, because I'll leave a link in the comment section where you can go and watch it. It's not commentated, obviously. It is from one angle, so there, there are times where you can't really see what's going on, but you can get the gist of the performance well enough by watching it. Now, my thoughts from what I've seen, it was only three rounds, and my thoughts are Dylan White looked pretty slow in there. He's never been the quickest. I expected a almost non-existent Christian Hammer. I expected a very negative Christian Hammer. Now, I was getting updates as well as the fight was going on off Twitter, but I, you know, the updates could be one thing. You want to see it with your own two eyes. So I was able to go have a look at it. Thought Dylan White looked slow. I, he was caught with a couple of shots. He was actually caught with a few right hands. And Christian Hammer was also looking to land a couple of uppercuts. But again, Hammer looked in no great shakes either. He looked in pretty bad shape. He looked slow as well. And it just looked fairly messy from both guys. It, it did. It just looked fairly messy. Dylan White was getting a bit rough in there at times. He was elbowing, using the forearm. Referee actually warned him for that in round number two. And neither guy appeared to be really seriously hurt, you know. Yeah, Christian Hammer got through with a couple of rights on Dylan White. Not a noted puncher as Christian Hammer, it has to be said. And Dylan White, again, hard to really tell, but he didn't look particularly bothered by any of the shots that were coming back. It looked like a fairly just routine. He was working his jab. He, Dylan White was in control. He was winning these rounds. Using his jab, looking to land a couple of shots here and there. Again, not really setting the world alight at a frantic pace or anything like that you would imagine that coming into this fight he would have only really re really probably had known that he was going to be on this show maybe a week or well, probably more than a week ago it was actually in fairness maybe a month ago so probably didn't have ideal preparation in camp he might have only been taken over without going into full-blown you know fighter mode so you can imagine he would have been a bit rusty going into this fight as for christian hammer well yeah so first round again dylan white won it you know on the jab yeah he took a few right hands from christian hammer nothing major won the first round got a warning over the forearm in round number two but again working his jab landing a couple of body shots here and there shifting a few shots as well a, a few messy clinches both guys getting backed up to the ropes a couple of times but again nothing, nothing major and more of the same in round number three dylan white kind of coming into it a little bit more and then inexplicably at the end of the round fight stopped i didn't know it was christian hammer being badly hurt i didn't think he was taking a particularly bad beating in there it wasn't fought at a dangerously frantic pace so i don't know why they stopped the fight and dylan white you could see when they announced the results as you can probably see in the thumbnail was less than pleased it had to be said look you know you don't get paid in boxing for overtime but if you've been out of the ring for well over a year and you want to get a gauge on where you're at you know you do want to go through the rounds you know get back into the swing of things go around see how you feel work your way into a fight against someone like christian hammer who he was never the greatest even when he was in his prime which is probably about seven eight years ago 2017 he had a bit of an indian summer that year but for the most part christian hammer has yeah he's been what he's been and Dylan White obviously was expected to go in there and win hammer i don't think has fought since the joe joyce lost nearly two years ago so Dylan White was expected to win it was kind of, I, I guess Dylan White wanted to warm his way into the fight, try and close the show with a clean knockout or at the very least force the referee to stop it or give the corner reason to stop it, not just, you know, okay, three rounds completed, right, see you later, I'm done, where's my paycheck? It's like, what? Dylan White didn't look best placed, to say the least. So what gauge could we get? Not 
particularly much of it. Like I said, no disrespect, and I don't mean this at all in a rude or disrespectful way to the guys who uploaded the um, the footage, uh, Ringwalk Media. It, 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 it's only from one side, so you can't really see a great deal. You'd love to be able to, and obviously I don't think it, it, it definitely wasn't broadcasted, but I don't think there was any cameras that would have done it in any angles to give you a kind of broadcaster's view. You can only really go by what you see in the video. And yeah, he didn't look particularly amazing, didn't look the quickest, got hit with a couple of silly right, he's, he's been getting, Franklin was able to land a couple of right hands on him, it's not just the uppercut, there's a couple of right hands they've been able to sneak in off Dylan, on Dylan White as well, but yeah, that was pretty much Dylan White versus Christian Hammer, a bit of a anticlimactic performance, it has to be said, you know, again, Dylan White didn't look best pleased, you know, he was like that with Christian Hammer when they were announcing the result, he didn't look happy, he obviously wanted to close the show with a clean knockout, but that is what that is. So Dylan White is now back. You can put his hat in the name in the picture of the heavyweight division. I've seen IFL were saying that there's a rumor he might actually fight Deontay Wilder in Saudi Arabia on one of those shows. So I look, I've always fancied Wilder in that fight. I always felt stylistically it would be a Wilder win. It would Dylan White would play into Wilder's strengths. But Dylan White, even though he's been stopped three times now and his chin looks worse for the wear he's not gun shy he he still goes in there looking to take your head off he still goes in there looking to fight fire with fire and you know really rough you up with Deontay Wilder it's the opposite with him now and now that if he's not able to pull the trigger how the hell is he going to keep Dylan White off him seriously if he's not able to lie if he's inaccurate with that right hand not able to pull the trigger how the hell is he going to keep Dylan White off him because his jab is not incredible. He's got no left hook to speak of. And yeah, that, that would be a very interesting fight right now. Seriously, again, I think the fight to make, if I was, say, a promoter, I, if I was Frank Warren, I'd be saying Daniel Dubois, Dylan White, whether it's in Saudi or in London, Manchester, etc., in the UK, I'd do it. Put it on pay-per-view. Or attempt to. Well, certainly, at the very least, it would headline a Queensbury show. Easily. And again, it's a scalp. It's, it's a name for Daniel Dubois. Based upon what I've seen in the, the sh three short rounds there, I, I wouldn't imagine Daniel Dubois be quaking in his boots. But you never know. That was a Dylan White on particularly short notice. Maybe on a good notice, he can turn up. Who knows? That's my thoughts on that. Let me know yours in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed it, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, as always, if you haven't already. And for now, I will leave it there. Peace.